Hello, we are with Sandra Delgado from the Dominican Sisters. Can you tell me your name again? <laughs> My name is Sister Sandra Delgado, a vicarist for Dominican Sisters of Grand Rapids. And uh, what happened today here? Today was a, a, a press conference announcing prayer day for Sunday where we are calling churches in the West Michigan to participate in this prayer day um, to bring awareness about the issue of the uh, immigrant children that are coming to, that will be coming to West Michigan. So uh, do you support these children that are coming here? I'm supportive of all children. And uh, well, so what are the reasons why the, the children are coming here? The children are, are fleeing the dangers in Central America and possibly in Mexico as well. And so they're being brought here, um, sent here by their parents uh, in order to uh, flee the dangers and the violence in their communities, in many cases to be reunited with relatives that they might already have here in this country. Anything else you, you would, would like to add to the, for the Hispanic community? I think um, to uh, maintain unity in this issue as well, because I know there's also division within the Hispanic community on this issue, so that they, they maintain unity on this and be supportive of children that may come into, into the Hispanic community. Uh, either as foster children, if, if uh, a Hispanic family can foster a child, that they might be open to that, so that they also would uh, contact Bethany House or Bethany Center in order to be able to provide service that they might for a Hispanic child. I, I can't imagine a, a child who only speaks Spanish uh, being placed in with a family that only speaks English and the difficulties for that child. So if there's ways that our Hispanic families in this community could help, that would be a wonderful thing. Thank you very much. This was Pablo Bello for GrandRapidsTiempoLatino.com.